here we go hi guys welcome back to the channel um, today's video is gonna be a lot different than my normal videos um, this is a video that I've been thinking about for a very long time it's always kind of been on back of my head like when am I gonna do this video and what I was gonna talk about in it and things like that um, a little long time ago I posted on reddit um, just some kind of advice um, just kind of mental headspace um, on what it's like to be like as short as I am and my height has always been kind of like not a sore subject for me but definitely like a touchy one like almost my entire life and it took me a very long time to be comfortable with just who I was as a person and um, I wanted to share that with others you know there's a lot of subreddits and then this specific one it's kind of like a for quote unquote short people or whatnot to kind of share their thoughts and feelings about the world and, and, and whatnot. So anyways, um, this video is going to be super rough, super unedited. I'm not going to cut it. I'm just doing it in one take. And if I ramble on, I'm really sorry, but it's just kind of want to, I don't want to like uh, cheapen it by cutting it and editing it, adding music. This is going to be a very heart to heart video. And on a, on a subject that's really difficult for me to talk about, but uh, you know, I, I kind of just want to hope, you know, make a video and hopefully it'll kind of help people kind of get through some of the insecurities they have maybe in themselves and, you know, maybe look at my example and maybe kind of feel like, well, he can do it, so can I. So I'll get down to it. Um, I'm four foot 11 or four foot 10 inches and three fourths if you want to get down to the exact science of it. But anyways, um, you know, uh, life has definitely not been easy for me. Being this height, you know, um, you face a lot of scrutiny and a lot of judgment from people. Um, and like I said earlier, I've been really wanting to make this video for a long time. And every time I've kind of sat down in front of the camera, I've kind of like chickened out. And, you know, I'll do it later, I'll do it later, I'll do it later. And anyways, I was at the mall today. Uh, my daughter was being really good. So I was like, you know, I'm going to treat her for something. And she really likes anything out of Hot Topic. So went into the store and came out and I was kind of um, cross paths with this group of people and um, you know kind of get some of the bullshit that I always get but I had not done it in a while because I haven't really been out in a while because of this COVID-19 thing so anyway so uh, you know she goes one of the girls in the group sees me and she's all oh my fucking god girl he's so short he's like a midget look at him and like right in front of my face you know and as a grown man of 32 that stuff kind of never gets easy to hear you know and some people are extremely prejudiced and very open about it like it would have just been okay 30 seconds later say that to your friends like you know down a good ways away from me and to say that like directly in front of my face i feel like there's something wrong with society that they feel like it's okay to be prejudiced towards someone for a, a way that they weren't like born or the way that they were born you know um if i was an overweight obese guy you know it's not socially acceptable but it'd be like oh my god look at that fat fuck you know it's not okay to be like that you know or oh my god look at that black guy it's totally not okay you know that's prejudice and right now especially in the world uh prejudice is like at the forefront of everything you know and I think that we need as a society to reevaluate um, our perspective on other people. You know, I feel like as we're taught as kids, or supposed to be taught as kids, like don't treat people a certain way for how they are, you know, treat them for who they are as a person, but maybe not on their outward appearance. But anyways, you know, I really, really kind of just re-triggered this video and then why I needed to make this video to try to branch out and help someone who is experiencing these things because I've dealt with that kind of shit my entire life. And, um, you know, it's definitely not easy, but um, yeah. So anyways, on my Reddit post, I did ask for everyone to kind of ask me questions and I would be more than happy to answer them in, in, a, in a video. So here I am. So the first question, well, there were tons of questions, but kind of the first one that kind of comes to mind that everyone was asking was how was my dating life um definitely not easy um i come from a very small town and um 
uh, the small towns kind of breed small minds type of situation. So there were a lot of people my entire life, you know, girls that I would approach to or, or kind of like or whatever, and they would kind of be quick to be like, you're just a little too short, you know, and, and definitely growing up that, that kind of, obviously that would definitely hurt anybody's kind of feelings and stuff. So it made me really insecure on talking to girls, but, you know, um, I just kind of kept, you know, working on my own personality, you know, and, and, and making sure that I was always putting my best foot forward. And, you know, I definitely did kind of date through high school and, and, and middle school and all that. And everything was fine. But I did have the occasional girl, even until my adulthood, that was like, whoa, you're, you're just too short to date. You know, I've had a lot of girls tell me that. Um, which, you know, I'm not gonna lie, at that time, of course, you know, that's gonna kind of be uh, quote unquote soul, cru soul crushing. But, you know, I've learned, um, one thing I have learned, you know, um, through the girls that I've dated, and, and I've learned to almost appreciate my height uh, when it came to dating because I felt like the girls that were okay with dating me really did kind of, I guess, like me for me and weren't really too concerned about being so shallow that like, oh, what am I, what are my friends going to think? What is my dad going to think dating this? you know, super short Puerto Rican guy or whatnot. So I've always appreciated that and looked at it kind of like, it kind of weeded some of the selfish ones out, you know, and, and the, the shallow ones kind of like got pushed off to the wayside. And if a girl dated me, it was because, you know, she was really interested in who I was as a person. So, you know, just to narrow it down, yeah, I just feel like I really kind of, I got lucky in a sense, and I've always kind of look at it, looked at it kind of like a good thing, so. And my battery is dying, I'll be right back. All right guys, we're back. Sorry, I was uh, using my phone for uh, music earlier and I forgot that was, my battery was almost dead. So anyway, so we're gonna kind of continue with the next question. So the common question that came up was like, how in other areas did it affect my life besides dating? Um, you know, obviously, you know, you get picked on a bunch and things like that when you kind of growing up and, um, you know, I guess, again, uh, I kind of appreciate it because it made me really kind of thick skinned, you know, not a lot of stuff bothers me, um, at least I like to think so. And, you know, I kind of like can let the small stuff roll off, you know, and it, uh, and, and in my youth, I definitely got like in a lot of fights and over it and, uh, cause I've never been one to let someone kind of pick on me. I've never liked bullies. So, you know, whether it was someone picking on someone else or picking on me, kind of always got a little violent as a kid. And um, definitely something I'm not proud of, you know, but, you know, uh, you kind of, that's, that's what growing up, growing up is about, you know, kind of coming to face to face with uh, your issues and how you handle them kind of shapes you as a person. So, uh, so yeah, you know, uh, growing up was tough. Um, not only obviously with the girls, but obviously, you know, guys trying to make friends and stuff like that, you know, kind of got pushed over to the wayside and get picked first for sports and all that kind of stuff, you know, um, got picked on a bunch. And after my long stint I did in alternative school, and I don't know if you, where you guys are from, alternative school is basically like if you get too many fights, they ship you off to a different school that's more strict, like you're not allowed to talk and, you know, things like that. So. After my long stint in middle school at an alternative school, I decided that I was going to try to work on myself more and try not, try not to let those things get to me. And um, yeah, so I, I decided to channel my anger into like weight training and that really helped me out a lot because, you know, instead of being upset at myself or, or at God or the world for making me short, and kind of making me go through a bunch of bullshit, you know, I kind of channeled that into weight training and just kind of working on my body, working on myself. And as I got stronger and more muscles, my confidence kind of grew along with my body growing in a way. And that really helped turn things around for me going into high school. Um, you know, I kind of just channeled that kind of anger towards the world into something positive, you know, because I was angry a lot as a kid, um, just angry at God and life for, you know, why, why me? Why do I have to be this short? Why am I always getting picked on? You know, why don't the girls like me and blah, blah, blah. 
So uh, yeah, definitely weight training really, really helped me channel that into something positive. And you know, obviously with, uh, with that came a lot of confidence, you know, cause I was a lot stronger than everyone else. I had, you know, a six pack in eighth grade and uh, you know, that right there kind of, how I like to put it, you know, I turned kind of my, uh, my weakest, my weakest attribute, I guess you could say, or my worst attribute, and turn it into my most positive. Um, because, you know, no matter how tall, small you are, whatever, every strength and, and, and everything is, and a good physique is universally uh, appreciated and kind of admired. So that's really kind of where I found my, um, yeah, kind of, my, kind of my thing, kind of my niche, you know what I'm saying? My niche in the world, I guess you could say, or kind of grew to become. I don't know, guys. I'm so sorry. My battery died again, but I guess my cable wasn't plugged in all the way or fell off. I don't know. But uh, yes, uh, kind of what I was going with with that was kind of like, you know, weight training and, and, and strength training and just kind of building my physique and my body up um, kind of just made me kind of start to like who I was and the body that I was kind of stuck in you know because you only get one and um so yeah that really kind of helped me appreciate who i was and and and, and start to kind of love myself and i think that was my biggest issue um growing up the height that i was you know um it was uh you know just liking who i was and the body that i was in you know every year as a kid for my birthday i would wish you know please let me be a grow a little more you know because uh, that was, you know, something I struggled with my entire life. So I do really, really appreciate the gym and my passion for weight training because that's really helped me kind of just be the confident man that I am and kind of just really like me, you know what I'm saying? And I think that's the biggest thing that we need to look at. Uh, and not only for short people, there's all kinds of people, you know, just appreciate like who you are and appreciate your body. like. Even if you have, you might have like a shitty hand in life or start with a shitty hand. It doesn't mean you can't turn that around. And, um, and I think that a lot of people kind of need to look at what they do have, you know? Like, yeah, it really sucks to be this short sometimes, but I'm grateful that I have, you know, 10 fingers and 10 toes and there's nothing wrong with me at all. You know, I look at, you know, some other people and I'm like, you know, not that I want to be like, oh, I'm way better off than them, because that's not the fucking case. But like, you know, I don't want someone to go through life kind of thinking like, oh, what if, if I only if, if I, we could freaking do that all day. I wish I was born a millionaire, but that's not the case, you know, and I think that each person, um, each man or woman kind of has to go through that kind of self-realization that they aren't perfect you know and work on the things that they have control of and kind of be the best version of themselves um and whatever you know and um yeah so uh, i'm kind of rambling on here but i i just kind of go and get my point across you know that i know that i was dealt a shit hand but it doesn't mean that i can't be great and i can't be awesome and i can't love who i am and um yeah so uh, you know i just kind of if you're struggling through that you know if you find yourself like you know dating is hard and you feel like you know the world is just against you because of your height or whatever you know stop focusing on that stop focusing on that negative because the more that you focus on that negative and think about that the more that you grow that and then if you grow it so big it'll fucking consume you like that's all that you'll be thinking about is fuck me life is unfair i'm short no one likes me no girl's gonna like me if you just create that bubble around yourself you'll fucking suffocate man you need to you need a break let that shit go it is what it is focus on you love yourself you cannot expect someone to love you if you don't love yourself and that's what I want you to take away from this video. Please, I mean, I'm four foot ten. If you are, it doesn't matter if you're taller than me or not, but even if you, I mean, I just want you to think like, if I can do it, I know you can. Like, seriously, I know you can. There's nothing holding you back but yourself. And I'll say that again. There's nothing holding you back but yourself. Okay, guys, please, if you can take anything from this fucking video, take that. 
Um, so yeah, that's what I got for you there. I'm done preaching, preaching at you. Um, the next question that came up a lot, like how has it affected like my job? Um, really not a whole lot, you know? Um, I work for a furniture company and I'm one of the best sales people in the entire company. Um, I would say it, it kind of makes me work a little harder. I think, you know, um, everything in my life I've kind of kind of had to earn, you know, I, I didn't grow up super rich and, uh, you know, nothing kind of came to me easy. So that's kind of, I don't know, it's because, it's because I've been really short my entire life, but, you know, I always try to work a little harder than the next person, you know, and that kind of, whether it's in my weight training or in my, pro my professional life, you know, uh, that's kind of always been like a thing with me, you know, I, I, I kind of really strive to be the best at like whatever I do so you know whatever job I've had I've always felt like compelled to go the extra mile and to be a little bit better than everyone else around me just because I want to put to push myself I want to be the leader I don't want to be a follower I don't want to fall behind I don't want to cower away and, and, and act small you know I want to be in the forefront of everything and I want to be uh, stand tall so yeah, it, it kind of hasn't really affected me discriminate like people discriminating me. Um, there's been a few jobs probably that haven't hired me because I am so short, but not that I've ever done. Um, the next question, oh, oh, am I dating? Uh, I am not dating. I am happily engaged to my beautiful fiance, Jessica. We've been dating for about four years, going on four years in September. Um, so yeah, it's been fantastic, you know, again, kind of go back to what I was talking about earlier, you know, find someone that will love you for you and won't give a fuck what everybody else thinks. And I promise guys, those girls are out there. I promise you, I promise you, I promise you. Just work on yourself, be confident. One big thing that I like to pretend is like, you know, or, or I like to think like, yeah, I'm like four foot 10, but like, I want to walk around like I'm nine feet tall and kind of give that energy. You know, my fiance calls it big dick energy, you know? Um, so just walk around with that energy, guys, and like kind of have that positivity about you, you know? It's it's alluring, it's kind of like, you know, that guy has something, you know? He's confident, he's he's short, but he's also big inside. Like, I want you to kind of work on that, you know? Kind of projecting, and I'm not, I'm not being like chauvinistic or cocky, but like, just walk around like you have something you know something and a lot of short guys will kind of hide i've been to parties and they kind of hide or kind of stand in the corner or you know i don't want you to act small stop acting small you're a fucking giant you know you're a fucking giant and i want you to walk around with that and you'll see how things change for you people will look at you differently people will will, will talk to you differently and um and yeah guys i mean you're always going to have that asshole that discriminates against you i mean i can't do shit i can't go to the mall like I was talking about earlier about someone talking shit or I can't fucking squat a world record without someone being like, oh, he only did that because he's fucking so short. Like, you know, look at the rage of motion. You're always gonna have haters, guys. In whatever you do, you're gonna have haters. And that's fine. That just lets you know you're on the right path, guys. Um, uh, so, so yeah, uh, you know, um, just, just kind of, Start working on yourself, guys, okay? And um, and everything will be fine, I promise, okay? I know it's tough, I know you're going through some shit, and I know it may seem like, you know, the world is against you, but I promise you it's not. We are all created equally and, you know, inside. And inside is truly what matters, and I think if you work on yourself, if you love yourself, it doesn't matter what's around you, what circumstances may have, you know, kind of been uh, set up for you, you can overcome that, okay? And um, I hope this video helps you. I think I'm done rambling. It's been difficult to talk about this, but I'm glad like I, it got off my chest, you know? Yes, it was tough growing up, kind of thinking I wasn't good enough for the world. I wasn't, my dad wasn't gonna appreciate and love me because I'm not gonna be this, you know, six foot six Arnold Schwarzenegger type of athlete, um, you know? It was tough growing up in, in school and getting picked on and getting in a lot of fights and getting in trouble. And it was tough as a young man dating, but I've conquered all that, guys. And, and, and you can too, okay? And um, I hope this video helps. You know, I, I know I rambled on a little bit. Um, just wanted to go lead with my heart on this one. If 
you guys have any questions or concerns or you know just want to ask me any more questions I will be more than happy to help and answer them for you if you don't want to comment them on YouTube in public my Instagram is Jonathan Garcia underscore 66 kg feel free to DM me there and if you guys are interested in starting like a workout routine or something like that I will be more than happy to help you with that as well thank you guys so much for watching I hope this video helps someone out there you know even if it helps just one out of 10,000 you know that one person that it helps um, made it worthwhile kind of doing and talking about and it, and it does feel weird opening up about this but thank you guys again so much for watching and have a wonderful day and god bless